If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. I'm Joey Baird. It's time to start our leeks and onions indoors. Now, you can start these in a variety of different ways. We have found the method I'm going to show you to be the most successful that we have ever tried and ever done. What we've got and how we start them are in one gallon grow bags from rootmaker.com. They have a phenomenal selection of grow bags, the white is a heat tempered, or which makes the bag resist a little bit of the heat and it doesn't absorb into the roots as much. They have grow bags from one to 60 gallons and pop up raised beds as well. This works very well. We'll fill them up, we'll plant them. And you can see over here, we've got three tiny Tim tomatoes in these one gallon grow bags. And these plants were planted March of last year. So we're looking at almost nine, 10 months uh, ago that they, they were started and transplanted in the one gallon grow bags and been growing underneath the Happy Leaf LED lights ever since indoors. And we get a, a selection of, of the cherry tomatoes on a regular basis. So the grow bags do work and they work very well. If you'd like to grow, get a grow bag, the coupon code's on the screen. They are a longtime sponsor of the Gardening with Joey and Holly radio show. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, we're going to plant onions in these and we're going to plant leeks in this. One way in which you can stretch the amount of soil, compost, raised bed mix, potting soil, we've used all three to start seeds in, we would recommend the potting mix. It can be costly. So in order to stretch it a little bit, in these one gallon grow bags, which is about six inches high, what we're going to do is we're going to take a handful of shredded paper, cardboard shredded paper. I'm gonna add a handful or two in the bottom of it. Now, when we add the soil and we water, this will compress. It's just organic material. It's essentially over you know, the course of these four one gallon grow bags, it's gonna save us maybe two cups of soil. But in the long realm of starting seeds indoors over the next four to six weeks, that can be a half a bag, or maybe in some instances, those who start a lot of seeds, a whole bag. So it can add up. So it's not gonna hurt anything to compress. So, and then we're gonna identify the seeds in which we're gonna grow with plastic window blinds. That'll work. Now we got our seeds from Jung Seeds, again, a supporter, sponsor of the Gardening with Joy and Holly radio show. We've got three varieties of onions here all long day. The key to success with onions is twofold. One, the best success is starting them as we are here then transplanting them out the appropriate time. Second best is if you buy the starts, the green live plants in the bundle from your big box store, or if you go to your independent garden center, they will have them in six packs. They'll have, you know, 20 or 30 of those. They will, they've started those and those are the correct variety for your area. Wouldn't really advise using the bulblets, the little onion uh, sets. Those are already grown. They're, they think they're in their second year. You plant them and that's when you get a lot of the blossoms, the blooms, the seeds. So starting the right type of onions in your area is key. Northern portions, portions of the United States, middle port, uh, northern portions of the United States are what we need to grow is long day onions. Central portion, Los Angeles, uh, uh, yeah, Los Angeles type to Denver, to St. Louis, to Washington DC, neutral or midday varieties. In the South, you grow short day varieties. If you try to grow a short day in a, lo in a long day area, you're gonna get onion, but you're not gonna get any bulb. If you try to grow a long day in a short day, same thing, gonna get onion, not a lot of bulb. So that's one of the key failures that many onion growers have when they cannot grow successful onions is they're growing the wrong day length in the area that they are living in. Okay, so the type of onions we are growing is Walla Walla, yellow sweet Spanish, 
and Organic Elsa Craig exhibit, uh, exhibition. So those are the, uh, the onions. We are growing two varieties of leeks. American flag leeks, an heirloom that we uh, were very pleased with, that we save seeds on, we'll start those, and then Lincoln uh, leeks that will take 50 to 80 days. The American flag leeks are about 120 days. So we're gonna do separate those so we know what we've got and we can kind of see because we've never grown the uh, Lincoln leeks before. All right, to fill them, we are just using standard store-bought potting mix. And uh, really, if you get, can find a scoop, really works well. We got this at a, an estate sale for a dollar. Well worth it than trying to um, use an old pod or a cup or something. So I'm gonna fill these about an inch from the top, then we'll come back and we'll get our seeds planted. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, the, there are specific categories, long day, short day, neutral day for the onions. For leeks, doesn't matter where you're at in the world, if you plant a leek, it'll grow just fine. So we've, uh, I've done the separation between the American flag leaves. I've left the chaff in there, and then I've also just topped uh, the Lincoln seeds there, and I'll cover them up in a moment. With the onions, it's the same thing. We fill these bags up. I've gently tapped them. The neat thing about using these grow bags is, at the time of transplanting, they're going to be about this tall, the plants, and you can take the bag, or you can take the grow bag and roll it on its side and basically just pull out the amount of plants in which you need. Works really well. You're not damaging the plants at all. So there are uh, 250 seeds, yes, in here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use the whole 250 seeds. Yes, um, you're going to have... You're not going to plant, most people are not going to plant 250 seeds, but we have ample amount. And then what we don't use, we can leave in here and ch uh, cut off for chives after the transplanting time is over. So for what you're, if you try to save them, yeah, onion seeds will save from year to year, maybe two years. For us, we just plant them all and call it good. So then we're just going to take a little soil, quarter inch. If you get a little bit more, it's not too, it's not detrimental because you're using loose uh, potting soil, potting mix, cover them up, <clears throat> and this will be the same application for everything else. Here's the key. We've got them in a 10 by 20 flat, so when we water, the water will stay in the flat. If you have issues of flats getting holes in them, what you can do is go in a dark room, shine your uh, phone on one side, and have somebody look on the other side, and if there's no illumination, you got no holes. Works out really well. So in order to keep the soil moist, we talk about in the actual garden outside using mulch to hold moisture in. Well, paper towels uh, works as mulch here. Now you may be concerned with whatever chemicals the paper towel is made in, but we're not at all. So you're gonna tuck, tack, uh, pack it in, push it in there. These will germinate in about 10 to 20 days. Then the nice thing about using the paper towel, we can bottom water, that's fine. You put water in the basin here and allow it to wick up, which we will do, but to hydrate the seeds on the top, we can do that. And as you see, it's not blasting the soil out. It's actually, it's absorbing naturally, nice and slow into the, the potting soil and it doesn't blow the seeds out. So it works really well. And then the neat thing about this, in about two days, this will kind of crust over and it'll actually put, choose a barrier to keep those, that moisture from going out. So the plants will absorb the moisture and the soil will not dry out as quick. It all depends on how dry your house is, but this is a great way to hold moisture in and get a good germination start. So I will get all these put together, then we'll talk about grow lights. All right, so I've got all the seeds planted here. We're going to place these trays under this table here, which will contain, or has underneath it, one of the old generation of the Happy Leaf LED grow lights made in the United States, made in uh, the Chicago area. The nice thing, or the unique thing about these, they have, uh, they have the correct spectrum of light. Yes, you can go to the big box store, buy some shop lights for $12, $22, $25, <clears throat> and they're fluorescent, and 
they will quote unquote do the job. However, the downside to that cheap investment that you had with those grow lights is each year and the longer they run, they deplete in the amount of light that they are cascading on your plants. And it's recommended that each year you replace those tubes or the, the fluorescent tubes. With this, this does not decrease in intensity as those do. These will, we, we've been using this one here going on eight years now, same as the one that's gonna be used for these leeks and onions. So that would be something that it's a investment, but it's an affordable investment if you're going to do a lot of seed starting or in this instance an application growing year round. Works very well. That's why these plants are doing the way they're doing and I come in and I clean them up with the scissors and harvest the fruit and water them. So uh, the coupon code's on the screen there if you're interested. The key to using grow lights when you are starting seeds is you do not need to turn the lights on until the seeds begin to germinate. Keep that in mind. Now, if you have, like we have onions here, if they start germinating and then we slide peppers underneath there, the light still has to stay on for the onions and leeks, even though the peppers haven't germinated. So you got to keep that in mind. So it's uh, starting leeks and onions. Some people say eight to 10 weeks before your last average frost date. Some people say 10 to 12. Now's the time to do it. Get your seeds, get your grow lights. And so you can start preparing to get these start uh, growing outdoors. Heat mats, not necessarily needed if you're in an, a home, if you're in a greenhouse potentially, but the heat mat stays on until the seeds germinate and then you cut the heat mat off and then let the plants grow naturally. Thanks for joining me. Join me next time for more organic gardening. I'm Joy Barrett and this has been the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. For more information, please visit the